Have you ever laughed so hysterically at something so simple you were starting to get legitimately worried that you were losing your sanity or something? About what were you laughing so hard then? Me and two of my friends were working on a movie, but we messed up some files, and accidentally replaced the black screen after a character's suicide with a panorama of cinnamon rolls. Cinnamon voyage. I was in an sat class and we were going over practice questions. The instructor read out a group of spoon collectors, and I began laughing so hard and for so long that I had to leave the classroom. I'm over it now but it was troubling. A group of spoon collectors is known as a drawer. Sometime in the mid to late aughts, my husband was on the phone with iRobot customer support regarding our Roomba. I was in another room, but I could hear his side of the conversation clearly, and I could tell he wasn't getting the results he'd hoped for. As he got more frustrated, he blurted out, I've had problems with this robot since the day I brought it home. Something about that particular phrase just hit me hard. I immediately started laughing, and couldn't stop. I was still laughing when he got off the phone. Understandably, he wanted to know what was wrong with me. Through maniacal laughter, I parroted the phrase back to him, which had something of a feedback loop effect on my laughter. It's been over a decade, but thinking of that phrase still makes me giggle. A few weeks back I was taking a shower and I looked at my foot and it just looked so stupid that I started laughing and couldn't stop. Like I had these weird pull like failed hands attached to my legs and they were so ridiculous looking. And I was just going around with my body ending that way. I laughed at my foot for about 5 straight minutes. Misheard an episode of Octonauts about the coconut crab. The phrase astronaut crabs conjured simultaneous images of crabs in space suits and also giant crabs cracking open astronauts with their claws. And I absolutely lost it. I could hardly breathe. There were tears of mirth. My children were terrified but also trying to keep up with the joke, which I could barely explain. We still talk about it, but it will never be quite as funny as when my brain caught me by surprise, in a similar vein. I was with a bunch of friends at an anime convention and hadn't slept well for two nights, simply because I can never sleep away from home, and was trying to doze on a hotel room bed while the others were getting ready. One girl asked another, Nami, can you pass me the body spray? And Nami exclaimed, body flies? The other replied sarcastically, yes, pass me the body flies and I lost it. I laid on the bed and laughed and laughed four minutes on end. The others regarding me with disgust since they were ready to hit the con again. Everyone shuffled out of the room, threatening to leave me, so I forced myself to stop laughing, got up and followed them. Down in the convention hall, I thought about goddamn body flies again and started giggling, but I didn't want the others to know, so I pretended to be looking at some brochures and tried to regain composure. My best friend caught sight of me trying my damn desk not to laugh and came over, saw I was looking at a stack of brochures, and turned to me and said with feigned contempt, tell Amy you're not still laughing at body flies. That was the end of me, and I had to sit down on the floor in the middle of this convention, sobbing laughing, tears on my face, while my friends were left bewildered and kind of repulsed, by the end of the weekend, though, it had become an actual sort of inside joke and stillies, so I guess I was somewhat vindicated. I didn't question my sanity. But I got stuck in a laughing loop with my then one year old son. He was laughing at my laugh and I was laughing at his. It was the better part of an hour and we were both exhausted afterward. It was over 30 years ago and it still makes me some when I think about it. This reminds me of a sleepover I had in middle school. There wasn't enough couch space for all of us girls to sleep on. So me and a few of my friends were on the floor. I can't explain why, but everything I heard was hilarious. I laughed until it hurt to smile. I justified it by saying that everything is funny on the floor. So we all took turns lying on the carpet and laughing our ass off. The people on the couch started laughing at the people on the floor. And the people on the floor were laughing because the people on the couch were laughing. It still holds true today everything really is funny on the floor. In high school a guy at my table was asked if he ever had sex. And with the most straight face said no but I've seen dogs do it. His frankness and deadpan attitude made me laugh so hard and for so long I was worried that I was going to pass out. Was this in northwest Pennsylvania? I think I know that kid. Was this is northwest Pennsylvania? I think I know the dogs. Ingwood shop class we were a bunch of dumb sheds and the would you suck a dick for a million dollars? Question came up. 
people were discussing this then the guy sitting in the row in front of us turned around and asked what we were talking about. We told him and he replied without hesitation hell. For a million dollars I'd blow them and let em drop a load in my A. My mom once said boo. To my dad who kept hiccuping to make him stop. She said it in the most innocent and pure way that we couldn't stop laughing. The laughing went on for like an hour though. Years ago I was having drinks with my best friend when she developed the hiccups. I told her I would have to scare her. About 5 minutes later. I told her I had something very serious to talk to her about. She leaned in. Looking a little worried. I sighed heavily and said you're pregnant. Her eyes got huge and in a panicked voice she asked I am. She immediately realized her mistake. But it was too late. I was dying laughing. Literal tears running down my face. I couldn't pull it together. It's still a memory that makes me giggle. And the best part is it worked. Her hiccups stopped. I kinda pulled the reverse of this on my ex one time. She had the hiccups real bad so I tried to spook them out of her a few times to no avail. Then, a few minutes after my other failed attempts, I dropped the I'm pregnant bomb on her. That worked just fine. OMG here's my boo story. I once showed up to work at a small family owned corner store. My co-worker was at the front desk. And it was hot as f out so I just walked in the propped open front door. His back was to me. He was in his phone. So I snuck right over to scare him. Of course. But when it came time to say boo. I kinda only ushered out a really awkward sounding boo as if it were a question. Regardless. This adult man screamed like a little girl. Through his phone and fell to the ground. All I could do was laugh, and I did, for a while. And then every time I thought of it afterward, I'm laughing now just remembering the goddamn scream that came out of him. Boo. I don't remember the context, but my best friend and I, then in our preteens early teens, were flopping around on her bedroom floor and screaming fish out of water. We insisted on showing her mom who looked at us like we were on meth. I almost passed out I could not breathe from laughing so hard. I almost passed out I could not breath from laughing so hard. Are you sure it wasn't just your gills not working on land? LMAO I don't know you but I love you. As much as a fish can feel love. Anyway. Me and some friends went on a trip with this youth leadership organization. The trip was supposed to last 5 days. But our flight back home was delayed a full 22 hours. We ended up staying in a hotel and playing cards against humanity. I think the prompt had something to do with the worst line on a first date or something like that. One of us answered yeast. We laughed for 10 full minutes and my sides hurt for the rest of the night. How was your day? Yeast. I was playing her with my roommates once and we got the after the earthquake. Sean Penn brought to the people of Haiti and someone answered Gary. And we all lost hours for 15 minutes imagining a care package consisting of just one normal guy. The people of Haiti rejoice at the sight of him. We still joke about it 2 years later. I got cards when it was a kickstarter. So no one knew what it was. First time we played was on a long train. And it was 5 of us guys. Behind us was this rather well to do woman and we tried to keep the noise down as we could see she was a little bit delicate as to what the game entailed. Trouble was trying to hold in the laughter made it 10 times funnier. I don't even remember the card but the question but the answer I played was something about having a period. Well that was half read quietly but she heard and gasped really loudly. Well that set us all off. We laughed non-stop at full volume for like 5 minutes. Tears rolling down our eyes. I tried to apologize to the woman and she took it well but man it was honestly one of the hardest things I've had to do trying to squeeze out a sincere I'm sorry without my head exploding. D. 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 I was struggling to breathe from laughing so hard. Ah oh man. Those were good times. There's a sticker in my phone keyboard gallery of a purple llama with a box of carrots and it says busy. I saw it at work and laughed so hard I was crying. I legitimately could not stop my brain from recalling the image. I had to leave work. It was a windy day and I was eating a bagged lunch with my co-workers. Suddenly a huge gust of wind blows the bag and all my food away leaving me staring at an empty table with a fork in my hand. I didn't even try to catch it. I just started laughing so hard I had to lay on the ground. The ability to laugh at my own pain is like my only superpower. Zelian from heaven officials blessing would love you guys. I was at the beach once with friends while I was a poor college student. I'd pack myself a sandwich. 
and as soon as I unwrapped it, a seagull swooped down from behind and grabbed the entire thing out of my hand. Never saw it coming. I was hungry, but also kind of impressed. Clearly he had outsmarted me. This is the end bloopers when they are talking about their religion and Craig Robinson says and Annie's Muslim and Danny McBride just says shalom. It's not even that funny but I lose my sh every single time. I'm gonna jack off all over your house. James Franco, if you come even once I'll shoot your dick off. You don't have enough bullets. B. My family was eating at Red Robin. My grandpa told a great joke. I laughed so hard that I sh my pants. I was like 5. My dad took me to the restroom and asked if they were my lucky underwear. I said no. Cut them off with his pocket knife. Cleaned me up and went back out to finish our food. What was the joke? I just sh under there. Under. My husband made our 4 year old son laugh so hard he peed his pants and my husband laughed and tried to reassure him it was okay. The next day I was alone in the house. Holding our newborn and our 4 year old announces that it is funny to pee in your pants. At first I'm confused and then I'm horrified as he just begins peeing. He was so confused when I didn't find it funny. Luckily we had a comforter that was sorta half on the couch, half on the floor. And he mainly peed on that so I could just toss that in the washer and dryer but I had to explain to him it's funny and okay when it's an accident, not when it's on purpose. I read a meme asking if Norwegian clown safe jong. My girlfriend speaks fluent Norwegian and told me how that would be pronounced. Kind of a heyong. I thought I was going to pass out from lack of air due to laughing. I'd catch a grip every now and then and a quiet heyong would corpse me into laughing harder. My friend and I were watching Cloudy with a chance of meatballs when we were about 12. There's a scene in that movie where a giant bowl of water spills on everybody sitting in bleachers. And there's a guy in the splash zone ready to get wet. Except everybody except him gets splashed instead. And he throws his hat on the ground and yells. AW. Come on. My friend and I laughed our ass off at this. And this eventually led to us replaying a ton of scenes in slow motion. Zoomed in. Etc. There was a scene in South Park where they are trying to get a whale to the moon. Long story. Makes no sense. But there was one gag that the boys cannot get NASA to do it so they go to master the Mexican space agency. So. When the rocket takes off with the whale, some mariachis come out and play a song to celebrate. I don't know why but it caught us off guard and a friend and me started laughing so hard and so long I thought I was going to die of asphyxia. I'm in Toys R Us with my 3 year old who suddenly says she has to go to the bathroom. Oh no. Number 1 or 2? Two, 2. I grab her hand and rush to find an employee. Do you have a bathroom? Yes but it's all the way on the other end of the store. I turn to my daughter we got her an okay? Nah, don't worry. I blew it out. What's that now? I blew it out. I could barely carry my sh tie daughter through the store because I was laughing uncontrollably. Had to ditch her pants and underwear in the bathroom garbage and carry her naked A out with my coat wrapped around her waist. Still laughing hysterically. I must have looked absolutely insane. It was late and my wife was driving us home. We passed by an A&W. A fast food chain with its own root beer. My wife said, hey, you know what A&W stands for? And I said I assumed it was the initials of the founders. She said, no, it's for hamburgers and woot be when I instantly and fully lost my sh. A delivery was so cute and I was so tired that I laughed about it for the entire rest of the 15 minute drive. For the next several days I was still giggling every time I thought about it. This reminds me of the funniest thing my wife has ever done. We were on a weekend trip to New York City and I was in a level 9 fury over the shtai people and driving we dealt with all day. We got stuck in a traffic jam after hitting up a Sonic Fall 8 night dessert on the way back to our hotel and I was fuming. Without missing a beat, she takes a spoonful of her ice cream and just starts saying Lieutenant Dan. I got you some ice cream from Forrest Gump. I know sold it and didn't want to break my focus on being mad and all of a sudden I see the spoon enter my line of vision from the left as she just says in an elongated fashion Lieutenant Dan. Ice cream. I burst out laughing and we laughed for like 10 minutes in traffic. It's still regularly brought up as one of our inside jokes and makes me smile to this day. It was actually something in an Ask Reddit thread. The question was something along the lines of what is an unsolved mystery or paranormal activity that cannot be explained? Someone's reply was that one time when they were younger they farted and the TV turned off. I have no idea why. 
but something about how it was sandwiched between much more serious replies just made me lose it. I was laughing so much my wife came to ask what was so funny. Her reaction, basically calling me an idiot, made me laugh even more. Even as I type this comment I'm grinning like an idiot thinking about it. Many years ago. I went through about a week long phase where I simply could not read my credit card number over the phone without laughing hysterically. No reason. It just started one day, then I think I got all up in my head and it just snowballed from there. Every time I tried to order food, confirm some travel reservation, whatever, I would start laughing and it would take me forever to get through the number. The surprising thing was how infectious the laughter was. I thought the people on the other end of the phone would be annoyed, but probably 9 times out of 10 they'd start laughing too. It was like some virulent and worm of contagious hysteria, and then just as suddenly as it started, it was over. Hasn't happened since, though I still brace myself every time, just in case. I had a dream recently that a friend of mine spent 2 full hours focusing intensely hard on writing something down. When he was finally finished, he showed it to me, in a 5 year old's handwriting in crayon. The page simply read apple cider dog nets. I laughed so hard I woke myself up crying. Also, I was once at a small but serious poetry reading event at my university. A few people spoke about different connections they had to the poet like the host of the event who introduced had gone to grad school with her, the university president who had worked with her mentor, etc. My friend whispered to me in this goofy voice and I fed her mom. We both were laughing so hard people were turning around to glare like four rows ahead. Even though we were trying to be silent, I laughed on and off for half an hour and had to leave the event early because it was so disruptive and appropriate. I've laughed myself awake from a sex dream before. I had a dream that a guy and I were doing the nasty when my dad walked in on us and glared in disapproval. I look over at the guy I was with and notice he turned into a 6 feet tall rooster. My dad just looked at me and said in the most deadpan voice. That's one big cock. I woke up cra laughing at the simultaneous pun dad joke combo. No, but way back when in high school the teacher wrote newspaper but the year looked close to a no. So a kid laughed hysterically for a few minutes because it looked like newspaper. Which is pretty funny, but I wouldn't say multiple minutes funny. Really high. Doing a puzzle with my husband and we were eating the shtiest frozen pizza we had ever eaten. Like. Just the worst. It was supposed to be garlic cheese and it tasted like absolute nothing and cardboard. So we started pulling everything out of the fridge to put on it and make it better. Finally, my husband decided he was going to cook a bunch of hot dogs and roll them up in the pizza. Somehow, the concept of hot dog pizza was so incredibly funny. We both started laughing and couldn't stop. I laughed so hard. For so long it became physically painful and I couldn't breathe. But I couldn't stop laughing so I was just barking out this weird honking cough. By the time we stopped laughing, I was pretty sure I had laughed myself sober. We marked the date on our calendar, so we never forgot hot dog pizza day. And a month after that night, Pizza Hut came out with hot dog crust pizza and I swear they were spying on us. No one out pizzas the effing hut. I was reading a list, probably on BuzzFeed IDK. And it was one of those that had alternate names for things, like danger noodle for snakes etc. And I got to volcano mountain fountain and I legitimately laughed for 20 minutes, had to pee, cried, couldn't breathe the whole works, I couldn't even think about it for weeks without cracking up again, my husband thought I had honestly lost my mind. Me and my friend nearly ended ourselves laughing at the Benedict Cumberbatch memes, Benadryl Kabaja patch and so on. It was at the point where it physically hurts to laugh. I was with my mom and sister in the car doing this and we started laughing so hard I nearly had to pull over. I believe it was Brandenburg Cucumber Wub Wub that made us absolutely lose our minds. I was breastfeeding my newborn in the middle of the night and watching Dave Chappell. The Rick James skit was on. I cried laughed so hard that my husband woke up and took the baby away because he was afraid I was going to drop him. He asked me what was wrong and I snorted I'm Rick James B. He was not amused. TBF that's a refine hilarious bit. I was cackling like a witch at a memory that wasn't even that funny. I just remembered I had accidentally called a cup of tea a cup of Thai. What made me look insane was that I started bursting out laughing in the backseat of my mum's car when her and my sister was talking about how many people had died BC of the last pandemic. 
yeah, that was probably horrific to hear. At school 6 years ago, I was eating a jar of planters mixed nuts and look at the warning label, mind you, it was barely 7 o'clock in the morning and I did not drink coffee at the time, the warning label said mixed nuts and I could not stop laughing, I know it's there for people who aren't too bright, but it was just so blatant and hilarious lol.